and welcome back to Mastering the Art of Livery Painting in MSFS. Made and produced by me, Total Aviation. In the last video, we got our Blender file ready. But in this episode, we'll be painting on the model and making sure all of our files are in place and ready to put into MSFR. So let's get started. Now many people use Photoshop, some people use Pixlr and and to design their liveries but I'm going to be using Canva because it's free and open for everyone to design. Now you can download this image from the Discord server and as you can see I was just playing around with Canva and making a rough idea of what I was wanting to do and this is what we'll be creating this livery here but we might change it around and we might want to go maybe we want like blue engines maybe we want at the bottom it says livery series so you can see how we can just mess around and play around with it but this is an idea of how it will look so what we were wanting to do is make sure we get the hex code of our colors so that's stage one the hex colors and we want to make sure we get our assets assets ready so that is the total aviation the logo and other things you might need stage three put them into the file structure now i have made the file structure so here it is so assets as you can see i've put some logos i put some text in there some white and blue, some total aviation like that, and I've even put the hex codes that we will need. So this will be the design we'll be using, but if, if you haven't got a design, pause the video here or come back to it at a later stage. Now, stage three, paint. Open the blender file we have already open. Now we just want to make sure we go file and save as and we want to go to our file structure you can download the file structure, it's up to you and I'm going to call this tutorial A320 here we go, so that is saved and ready first thing we want to do now is we we'll want to click on the fuselage and go to texture paint so as you can see the fuselage is painted like so. As I was saying, we want to make sure everything is selected just like so. But I'm just going to do the texture. And once we have it, we want to go to fuselage and texture, base color. Now, the base colors work in a power of two. So if we want, let's say, a 4K, it'd be 496. If we want a 2K, uh, 204A, if we want a 1K, 1024. So I would like a uh, 4K. So you want to do the asterisk symbol and times it by 4. And the same again. So this doesn't give us plain white, so what we want to do is make sure it's white. Now we click OK. There we go. We can now see fuselage base colour and we can get rid of that now we want to go to our rudder base colour same again and just follow the steps base colour for the engines just like so now if there's anything else that needs to be painted and as you can see it is showing up on the wings there Okay, that's just to test to see if you got it, everything working. Now what we want to do is click on our fuselage. Now here we are. Here's the design. So we need a black tail, we need our logo on it, we need a blue overlay, so we need a blue over the doors. You can even use the count, you can count the windows and you need a black stripe, photo aviation and we're going to add blue engines. So we would come down to here and put our hex code in. Now I don't know my hex code off by heart and you can just put this onto another screen if you want and we can go 0, B and that's the blue. Now for the black we can put the black in as well, we can put 1, D, 
two, one, two, five. And that will be our grey colour there. As you can see, it'll be just like that. And this will be our blue. So here we go. Everybody ready? So here we go. Where it says stroke, where it says fall off, click that. So if you click F and move your mouse in or out, this will decide how big or small the paint draws paintbrush is now for stroke this is for if we want to do a line if we want to do a curve but this what we're going to be doing is just going to be doing a space for now as we're going to be painting the tail black and a red of black so here we go so if we move black over and you can click x on symmetry and what you want to do is you want to paint and what that will do is paint on the other side Painting is very, some people might enjoy it, some people might take some time with it. Those people take a lot of time with full every painting. You just want to be very careful. Now as you can see I just got some on the fuselage there because I know we're going to be coming back to it. So that's just like, and that's a black tip. Now for the rudder, we can't just paint like that. We have to go to layout and click the rudder and do exactly the same thing. Again you can use F and make it. Now as you can see black tail there our next stage would be the blue or we can do the logo but i think we should do the blue so we want to make sure this is perfect as we really want to be start counting the windows now you can do this you can go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that looks like ten so you go one two three four five six seven eight nine or you can just go and start painting so i like the method of start painting because it's easier just to get the rough outline as you can see don't want to get it on the tail work on a small brush and go very carefully now there is another method i'll be showing you in a minute now as you can see i'm not following my design so there roughly is our livery taking place like so we can either go into uv and we can see what's going on with the UV go base so we're going to clean up the tail now there is another method for this but I'll be showing you that in a minute now I am now going to be showing you the other method okay so as you can see I've made a mistake so the next thing we want to do is to make it so we cover only the tail we can go to edit mode and we click this button here that's face select and do control L back to texture paint and we will only paint what we selected so you have if if it happens like this just control Z and you want to only paint what we selected so make sure you just get everything you acquire and just go like that and that cleans everything up perfect next thing we want to do is keep looking at our design and see does it look the same if it doesn't look the same that's okay now we want to do the stripe so we can go to stroke and we can do line we're going to hit control and we can drag just like so but the first of all we want to make sure our symmetry is turned on And we can paint just like so. As you can see, that's nearly the same as our first design. You might want to extend the blue, so I think I'm going to extend the blue a bit further. And then I may want to do black, two lines of black, just like so. As you can see, that's getting close to our design. On the next stage of design is stencil. So this is what we'll be doing. So we're going to add our logo to the tail. So what you want to do is come to the checkered box, go to plug, go to new, and open up the logo that you want. So I got a layer with the overlay, or I got TA logo. So I'm going to take that one, go back, go to texture, and as you can see, that's our image. And we want to make sure it says stencil. And as you can see, we have 
a T8 logo. Now we may want it, we want to resize it where we want it, just looking at the design there. And we want to make sure it paints white and then we can go to stroke and go space. And we can paint over when we are ready to paint. So I might want the logo like that. So when I'm ready, I'm going to paint. And then to paint the other side, you go to layout, texture paint. And you can paint the other side. And there you go. That should paint like so. But I'm just going to do that again because we left symmetry on. So I'm going to undo this. I'm going to speed up this step and I'll make sure it's ready. And there we have it. As you can see, we got a similar design. Now, what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be adding text. So we can go back to here, open, do our asset folder, and we're going to go for some text. Now, do we want the total aviation or do we want total aviation every suit? Now, let's go for this. Control right. Now, what you want to make sure is your symmetry is turned off only because the text as you can see it's just a similar process there you go total aviation or you can have it over the black line i might want it smaller i think i'm gonna have it just slightly smaller just like so and i'm gonna paint over it and there we have it total aviation on one side and the other side. Now in the next part we're going to be painting the engines and wings. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.